Guess what we're doing today? So you guys can probably already tell by the title of this video, but 4th of July is coming up very quickly here in the United States, so we thought it would be a good time to make another patriotic red, white, and blue dog treat. If you guys would like to see the other red, white, and blue dog treats we've made, 4th of July themed treats, there will be links up above and down in the video description below. As always, we're getting ready to make some treats. We are going to be making some fruit and coconut popsicles for the dogs. If you don't have popsicle sticks, you can always just make these, mix them, and put them in as ice trays. This is Kira's first time wearing a decorative collar. <laughs> I will put some Amazon affiliate links to these collars down in the video description below as well. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and turn on all notifications so you'll be the first to know whenever we put up new videos. Hashtag notification squad. All right, you guys, let's get to making some treats. All right, you guys, so this is actually a pretty simple recipe. I am going to use a combination of blueberries and blackberries for the blue color, of raspberries and strawberries for the red color, and then a little bit of coconut flakes, and of course, some plain yogurt for the white color. So the first thing you're gonna need to do, and depending on how many you're gonna make, these are the units we're gonna be putting them in. You can, I'll put some Amazon affiliate links for some of those down below as well. Depending on how many you're gonna make, you probably only need maybe like a cup of each, depending on how many dogs you have. If you wanna make more, you can definitely make more, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take some blueberries and blackberries and blend them together, and then some raspberries and strawberries and blend those together, and it'll be done just like that. So before we even started, I made sure to go ahead and wash all of my fruits. Now, like I said, I'm just going to take and grab a little bit of these, a little bit of these, and put them into my KitchenAid blender on puree and make a little fruit puree. What do you think? Where's the short one? Oh, she doesn't want to try a blueberry. Let's see. I want to try a blueberry. Oh, man. Kira, they're eating things in here and you're missing it. Shall we want a blueberry? I didn't think so. Kira, would you like a blueberry? Yeah? Good stuff? Shelby's like, I'll eat that blueberry when it has dip on it. All right, let's puree these things up. All right, we have our blueberry puree. Now we're gonna take some strawberries and raspberries and do the same thing with them. But let's see, who wants a strawberry? Strawberry? I bet you'll eat one. Strawberry? Will you eat it? You're not gonna like these at all, are you? <laughs> She's like, I'll like it when you put some dip on it. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. All right, so now we have our blackberry blueberry puree and we have our strawberry raspberry puree and we have some yogurt, oh my goodness. Shelby's like, that's what I want. I just want that. I just want the yogurt. Now, as y'all know, strawberry dip. We eat strawberry now? Down the hatch it went. As long as it's got dip on it, it's all she cares about. Literally all she cares about. Oh, and for those of you wondering, this is specifically dog yogurt. <laughs> so if the dogs lick off the spoon, it's perfectly fine. Try it. Oh man, that's pretty good stuff, huh? What, are you teaching your sister how to do this? Who's teaching this puppy bad habits? Who's, are you licking it <laughs> Oh, Hold on, Shelby wants a bite. All right, Shelby, your bite. Oh, Shelby's like, I will love these because they have yogurt in them. Oh my God, that's good stuff, huh? All right, but we got finished making the treats, okay? That's what we're doing. We're, you have yogurt on your ear. We're making treats. Okay, ready? Down. Down. Good job. Now, we are not gonna use these little plastic sticks because dogs can't eat plastic, so it wouldn't make any sense to use plastic sticks. So we're gonna put these aside. Oh, and before all of you people go asking in the comments, can we eat these? Yeah, you can eat them. There's just no sugar in them and it's plain yogurt, so it's gonna be kind of bitter. It's not gonna be the greatest, but if you wanna make some for yourself, just add a little bit of sugar, or if you, if you like them like that, just do them like that. They're just gonna taste like fruit popsicles. Red, white, and blue, right? Right, red, white, and blue? That's what we're doing? All right, first, we're gonna get our little contraption ready. I know, you're gonna get some, and we're gonna take a little bit of the red. I probably should've got a better spoon for this, or something else, and we're gonna just Put a little bit in here, and we're gonna do probably about thirds for each. So put a little bit of red. We're gonna make a mess. You're gonna help me make a mess is what's gonna happen there, little lady. Wants to lick a spoon? I know you do. Would you like to lick a spoon? Hold on, you gotta see her. You gotta see her, baby. You wanna lick a spoon? 
Oh, yeah. Would you like to lick the spoon? Did you see her think twice about it? She's like, no, that's just strawberry. I didn't lick that spoon. So we got about a third of it filled with red. And now we're going to do white. And to do the white, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the yogurt and plop it down in there. The yogurt you're going to do a little bit more of because it's thicker than the fruit stuff. So if you want to make sure that you see it, as you put it down in there, see how it's kind of like going into the red a little bit. So we'll put a little bit of the yogurt and then I have some coconut flakes that I'm also going to drop down in there. Probably could have put some of those down first and it would have held the yogurt up. So yeah, don't listen to me. Do what I just said. Put some of these down first and then put the yogurt on. That probably would have made more sense. And then last, this turned out so interesting, is the blueberry, whatever this is, blueberry blackberry puree. Hey, where are you? <laughs> You're all laying down. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the top. And you don't wanna fill it too much because when you put the stick in it, so you can tell, I kind of did a little bit too much red on this one, but that's okay, it still looks cool. Now for sticks. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, what the heck are you gonna use for sticks? You can use a little dog treat to stick in the top of it. You can use, I found these sweet potato treats. You could use those, they look like little sticks, but I like these. These are backcountry real chicken jerky. And what I did was I took them out. I'll show you what size they were originally. So this is the original size that they were. You can see they kind of have a little bit of lines in them. So what I did was I cut them into thirds. And now we're gonna take one of these and we're gonna just stick it right down in the middle of there, right through all the way to the bottom. Hopefully it stays in the center. There we go. And there we go. Now I'm gonna fill the rest of these and that's gonna be a pretty cute popsicle when it's done. So uh, the last time I made frozen treats, you guys all asked how long do I freeze them? Freeze them till they're frozen. So like six hours overnight until they're frozen. Mm. I know, we gotta make a whole bunch more of these now though. We got all kinds of stuff, we gotta fill them all up. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and finish making these and then throw them in the freezer and the dogs will get to try them after they're frozen. Also, you guys, this is another good time to note that this is a treat. This is not a meal replacement. If you have a small dog, make these a lot smaller. If you're not comfortable feeding your dog something that is in this recipe, ask your vet if, if it's safe. If you don't think it's safe, don't feed it. Substitute it for something else that your dog likes to eat or make a different treat. We have a whole bunch of different ones. Shelby's really, really vocal right now because she really wants this. Oh, I know. I know. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop these in the freezer. So I got the second round filled. So now they're all filled. I don't know. I'm actually gonna go put them in the freezer this time. <laughs> all right, so they are done. We left them in the freezer overnight. I think these girls are a little excited about their popsicles. Yeah. Kira's never had a popsicle, so we will see what she thinks. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. All right, well, I've only got one hand, so follow me this way. <laughs> all right, Miss Kira, you're first. Your first popsicle. You're gonna get yours, hold on. Shelby's next. Oh, man. oh, oh, you gotta take it. You got, okay, take that end, you got it? You got the stick. Okay, well you get right there. And Memphis is waiting so patiently, come here. Come here, Memphis. All right, there you go, Memphis. Oh man, good stuff. Shelby's mowing on hers. She's like, I don't know how I feel about the fruit part, but I ate the stick. You're eating all of it. And Kira took off way over here because she doesn't know how this works. <laughs> hey, if you eat it up there, you don't have to eat it in the dirt. She got hers first, so she's pretty much already done. No, not the dirt. You're missing the good part. You're missing this part right here, right here, right here, right here. See, I should have left yours on the plate. Oh my gosh, you got strawberries on your paws. Is that the best thing you ever had in your whole life? She's like, whoa guys, that was so good. These two are still up here enjoying theirs. So I have a feeling that the popsicles were a win. As I thought, Shelby is taking her time, but she's actually eating it. You're actually eating it, all right. That's pretty good. All right, you guys, well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. And 
As always, if you end up making these for your, your pets, please tag us on Instagram at Gone to the Snow Dog so we can see all the fun things you have made. Tag us in a story so we can restory your story on Instagram. That's all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Yes, she still has some, but you gotta give her space. 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 Good job. Good job. All right. Goodbye, guys. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.